to the cloud. Okay, we're now recording. Uh, today is, what is today? We're talking October 19th. And it's time for another Martha's Tips and Tricks. Right, Mom? <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, we thought it'd be good to cover some things on Facebook and also Messenger. So Mom has Google Chrome. Let's show the tabs you are running. Uh, first tab right up there is Messenger. Click on Messenger. Okay, Messenger is the way to send messages uh, through Facebook. It's very efficient. And what we're looking at is a, a message. Come down with your mouse and you can see it's Chase Swift and Max Wright. There are two people in this message. It's called a thread. And so this is very powerful to communicate. Now, relative to cash effects, Maxwell is my cousin. So uh, my mother has a sister. This is her son. He lives in Malaysia. And as you can see, uh, mom uh, sent her link to Cash FX. Do you see the blue uh, message right? Yeah, that's right there. Yeah, that's the link to join Cash FX. And he joined. And so uh, we have to fund his account. So Messenger is a fantastic way to communicate with people through Facebook. Now, I wanna show you how to get to Messenger in the future. In the top left is a blue F, it's the logo of Facebook. Down a little lower, the, yeah, right there, click that. That is the logo of Facebook and it's taking you back to Facebook. Now, mom, you have, I don't know what, but we have some different interface you have a different interface, yeah, right there in that area. Typically other people, and I cannot figure this out. It's really odd. You have a different look, uh, which is fine. But down uh, under see more, as you come down that column, you'll just click on see more. Your messenger is hidden in this area. I don't know why, but scroll down a little lower. Most people, messenger is a second item. But on yours, it's way low, way, way, way down, 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 down. There it is, Messenger. So on your Facebook, Messenger is really good probably to have open by itself. So click on Messenger. And this takes you right back to where you were. And uh, what I'm gonna do is demonstrate how quick and easy uh, Messenger can be. So. I'm gonna be on my Facebook Messenger and I'm gonna go and type something to my mother. So let me uh, get that ready. And I'll say, hi, uh, ready for, for tips and tricks. And it always takes me a long time to type. So I'm gonna come back and look. So in the... Um, yeah, do you see how it went bold on me? Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. a new message that you have not read. So you can click on Chase Swift and it says hi. And it's loading. And so right at the bottom left, it says hi, ready for tips and tricks. And then you can say something down below by typing a message. Okay. <laughs> All right, and you can just hit enter. This is very powerful. Now, the other great thing is you can have more than one person. So go up to, there's a little, uh, just to the right of where you are, a little paper and a pencil. Yeah, right there. Click on that. That begins a new message. They have to be friends on Facebook. So let's type Chase. Right there, yes, right there. You're sending it to Chase and you can click on my name, it'll add my name. No, that's Chase and Max, yep, just me. Then add Audie, because I know Audie is on Facebook and I know she's a friend. There she is, Audie Hertz, click on Audie Hertz. Um, I'm trying to think of anybody else in this webinar. Derek, are you friends with my mom yet? And we'll cover that if you're not. Uh, we'll see if he is. 
actually I let's, a few weeks. I sent a friend request a few weeks ago. Okay. But, uh, Mother, type in D E R E K, Derek. Right where you are. Okay. Mm, nope. No Derek Smales. So this won't work. We got to add Derek, which is a good thing. So just backspace Derek out. We'll add him in a moment. Okay. Oh, you took out Audi. So put uh, no. Audi back. <laughs> okay. Whoop. You didn't click on Audi exactly right. So click on uh, at the end of Audi. You're right in the middle. Uh, AUD at the end. Back out the eye. It got confused. And put the eye back in. There she is. Click on Audi. Okay, this is a message to me and Audie, and it could be CFX related. It could be come to the webinar today on Monday, something like that. So down at the bottom, you see type a message. You can just say hi, whatever, and we will both get the message. So you can communicate with people on your team very easily. And they don't have to open up a Gmail or anything like that. And your messages appear on the left in blue, mine, and I'm going to type into the group, hi, mom, and Audi. And I, hap I happen to hit all caps, which is typically when you're typing in all caps, I did it by mistake. It means you're screaming in a way. So I'm not really screaming, but um, that's how that works. So now let's add a photo. Um, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So down to the left of type of message is a image of a sun and a mountain. Right there. Yep, that brings up photos that are on your hard drive. I don't know what we have. This, you know, this is a, well, look, yeah, look at that one. 800 millionaires. Take a look. So this we created a while ago. It's a nice picture, isn't it? So click on open in the, the open dialog box, open. That'll send the picture you just now. Now you can type a message in addition to the image or just send the image either way. Yep, here's a great, it's not a video, it's an image, but that's okay. Sorry. No, that's fine. We, mistakes are okay. So that's how to send an image. And that's really cool. Now, I want you, this will be a really a good test. Click the plus uh, down by the GIF down at the, yeah, click there. It'll open up more menu items, more options. And one of which is a microphone. Okay. Click on that. This is, if you don't like typing and how many of us don't like typing, you can record a voicemail message without typing. How cool is that? So we have a conflict possibly with Zoom because mom's microphone is on, but let's just see if it works. Click on record and you'll just want to say, hi, Chase and Adi, and you know, how are you? Whatever. It's hi, recording. Hi, Chase and Adi, it's Martha. And then click stop. The red, oh. yep. And there it goes. It's uploading a voicemail message. Takes a little moment. It might be confused with Zoom. Ah, no, it did. It worked. Hi, Chase and Audi. It's Martha. I can tell you it worked. I just listened to it. And you can hit play and listen to it again. How are you? Hi, Chase and Audi, it's Martha. And then click stop. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we can communicate uh, really powerfully. We can send texts. We can send images. We can do video. Um, by the way, I have a short little video that I did. Um, and so it's the same thing as adding a photo. Uh, but I'm going to send a video just, uh, well, you know what? I'm not because I want to show what mom can do. Doing video is a, uh, 
probably a step too much at this point. We'll just keep it simple. So um, then uh, let, let me, uh, you know, I'll put myself on mute, by the way. And then I'll record something back in audio to mom and Adi. Here I go. Okay, I just sent another little message, audio, and there it comes. It's on the bottom left. Go ahead and click on that, Mom, and we'll pick it up because we can hear it. Mom, that was great. I'm so glad you learned how to communicate with the microphone on Facebook Messenger. <laughs> what do you think? Awesome. Isn't that great? And Audi can listen to that too. Mm -hmm. I got so it. Now, I it. <laughs> yes, very good. And Audi can contribute all that. It's wonderful uh, way to communicate in Facebook and it's free. Now, one more thing, we're not gonna do this, but I want you to look the, for find the phone icon in the top right, there's a little phone icon. Down a little to the right. I have blue, to get uh, oh yeah, so your Zoom are, is covering up some. Yeah, that's okay. Oops. Okay, that's the phone. Um, go ahead and click it once. It will ask you to create a group phone call and you can actually talk on the phone. Try clicking one more time. Okay, it may, oh, it may, uh, it may not, uh, there might be a conflict with Zoom because we already use your mic on Zoom. So, but it works very well. You can make, it's just like picking up the phone and doing a phone call to, and you can do it, I believe to two people. Derek, have you ever tried that? Yes, I have, it does work. Okay, good. The next one is a video call, just like Zoom in a way, but you can't share your screen. Go ahead and click that. Let's just see, there might be a conflict with Zoom, but let's just click it once. Okay, it's, it's probably gonna be a conflict with uh, Zoom, but it does work and you can have a video conference with people on Facebook in your messenger. Pretty cool. All right. So um, let's go back to tab number two, which is Facebook. We've covered how to communicate, but now let's go to Facebook. Okay. So now messenger things pop up as well. So uh, let me just leave that there, the chase and audio. I'm gonna type one more thing and uh, I'll just type great. So you can see that on the message with chase and audio, I type great. So you don't always have to be on messenger. When someone types something in, it'll pop up when you're on Facebook. So it's kind of integrated with Facebook, okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, yes. good. So let's close that little blue tab. Yep, and by the way, the phone and the video icons are still there too. We'll go ahead and close that chat and we'll close the next one over to the right just so we can see things and we can always go back to Messenger on tab one. Now, you, you clicked on something, so let's go back. Um, you're watching, yeah, hold on. Top left on the far left by the blue Facebook icon, I think is an X that'll close that. You're in a special viewing area, far left, far left, down by the, down, yes. You click that, that'll close it. Those are the little icons up above the top. What are those called? Um, Facebook, um, I don't know what they're called. Facebook stories. Stories. So the one with uh, Karen Wagner Swanson to the right of your mouse and the ones of Jesus 2020, all those are stories. They're meant to be quick little videos in a way. I don't know that I, 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 I use that a little bit. I find the feed a little bit better. So for the purpose of using Facebook, yes, you can post comments, but let's uh, talk about 
adding something of uh, relative to cash effects and getting an international partner. So right in the middle, it says, what's on your mind, Martha? Go ahead and click there. Okay. And again, your setup, and Derek, I cannot figure out why her setup is all different, but <laughs> isn't it different? It, it's, it's, it's the same as mine, so. Oh, is it? Yeah. I see something completely different. But anyway, um, what you're doing now, Mom, is you're, and right under your name, what does it say? On your mind, Martha. Above that. Oh, create <clears throat> post. No, below Martha, right there. What does that mean? It only goes to your friends. Oh. So the post that you would type, only friends see. No one that, you know, let's say uh, I'm a friend of yours uh, on Facebook. Derek could not see what you posted to me because you're posting it just to friends. So if you want it public, which is in this case we do, change it from friends to public. There it is, top one. So anyone on or off of Facebook can read that. Okay, so now it says public. So let's talk about, um, and, and actually there's a colorful little rainbow. I think that's for the background right there. Let's click that. Uh-huh. These are backgrounds for your post. And you can, the first one looks like a little pink heart. Uh-huh. I didn't know the, how to do that before. I've well, seen it. That, that's why we were doing tips and tricks. <laughs> <laughs> so um, now it looks pretty or, you know, prettier. And then there's a yellow one next to the, the one you're on. Yep, right there. Yellow. You can pick something that you like. Go to the next one. Okay, it looks like kind of a party situation, maybe, whatever. Or a festive occasion, hearts. You get all types of things. There's a record player. Huh. So it just jazzes up your text. Now, that's a different background. <laughs> we, got a, we got our little poopy guy right in the top a center. Little turd. Yeah, a little turd. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back one step. We're in kind of a different area, okay? So just pick one that you like. Okay, so that's fine. Let's say that you're thinking about building international members, but you wanna be specific. You just don't wanna say, I need some people that live internationally. Let's be specific. Now, mom, I know you have traveled to Europe and you've been to Europe before, pick one of the countries you have been to, and that's what will be our focus. What would you like to pick? Well, I'll pick England. Okay. So um, you could say, I'm reminiscing about my time spent in England. I don't know how to spell reminiscing. <laughs> okay. I was thinking about... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and you've been to Scotland, haven't you? Yes. Only you Scotland. Could, yeah, I was thinking about my time in Scotland years ago. Who is from Scotland? Okay, perfect. Now, there's only so much, you can't write paragraphs and paragraphs <clears throat> and have the heart background. In fact, as you keep typing, it'll go away at some point. So if you wanna just keep, add mm -hmm. a paragraph and say, I was there and whatever, it'll eventually go away because it's too much. There is a way to do it, but it's more complex. Oh, there is, okay. <laughs> more complex more complex. At some point it might say that's too much and it kind of takes the, uh, the background away. Ah, there it is. Okay. So we lost our background because we typed too much. And now it's just 
Facebook is allowing you to add that, but let's take out there the, I was there in 1957. Just kind of, oh, there, now you can edit it back. Yep, there you go. And now it's come back. Isn't that handy? So I think just say, just for the purpose of this post, example. I was four. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what? You were born? <laughs> I was four. He was four. Oh, you were four. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I was 18 or 19. I think I was 18. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> let's leave I was I actually like that you said I was there in 1957 maybe add three little dots dot 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 and then go ahead and post that and guess what people are going to respond to that because why let's scroll down and find it it goes down lower there it is okay I was thinking about my time in Scotland years ago who is from Scotland? I was there in 1957. Is that not awesome? Yeah. It really looks nice. And who is going to respond? People that uh, are from Scotland or, or uh, you know, maybe they visited, they might comment like that. All of a sudden, you're going to start attracting people that like Scotland or have been there. Now... James is watching, or at least he was here. Is he still in the group? Need to see if you... Uh, no, he's gone. He must have uh, timed yeah. out again. Okay. So, Derek, um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll move into the adding friends. Now, um, let me look. Um, her icon's up at the top. Ooh. It's, it's really hard. I, I don't recognize this format as well. As well. Um, On the left-hand side is friends and request and probably five requests. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So, Mom, on the left side is friends. Far left, down one. Uh, click. Click. You have five requests. Okay, yeah. so, ah, uh, look, the second person. Ah! Uh. Derek. So now you can confirm, and now Derek is uh, can chat with you on Facebook and is a friend. Oh, good. There's some other people. You may not know all these people, but you know Joan, by the way. Yeah. Well, it is the, let's see, Joan Manning. Yeah. Confirm. Oh, how fun this is. Yeah. So um, that on there, Charlotte. Okay. So now you're adding some friends on Facebook. And they sent a friend request. Now, who is on here? There's probably no one. That, oh, my goodness. Uh, Shonda Schilling. Yeah. That's Sarah's friend, really, but. Okay. I've oh, never okay. known how to use Facebook. Well, you're learning now. <laughs> Who's this? Hanbo. <laughs> what? It is Hanbo. Yes. Ah. Click. He lives in, well, he has family in China and friends. So that's a biggie. It is. Yeah. Wow. So let's see. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. I don't. I, I don't know if you uh, have ever friended Roger. That's one person I'm thinking of. So in the very, very top left, it says search Facebook. Let's type Roger's name there. Do you Roger. really want to be friends with Roger? <laughs> I know. Well, <laughs> that is a risk. We know that. So. <laughs> So there's Roger Everhart and other people that you know, but type uh, Bicknell with a space, Bicknell. This is how to find people. Okay, and it comes up with Roger Bicknell underneath, so click that. This is how you find people. Yeah. Here? Uh, yeah. That, yeah, that one's fine. Now, <laughs> I know Roger's picture, and it's the top one, but there are... 
And why it's coming up on top is because you have three mutual friends. Oh, I see. And so there's Roger now. So Derek is a friend. Uh, Richard Sosalillo and I am too. And then you can add friend there. That's how you add people to, oh, look at that. He's got oh. a, a horse stuck, crazy. Um, that's how you add friends on Facebook. Oh, that looks like a mess. Poor horse. Yeah. So this is a 10 minute video. We'll probably not watch the entire thing. But, okay. <laughs> Um, so let's just X that out. We've added a friend on Facebook. Okay. Escape to close. Yeah, okay. that'll work. So now you've added a friend. Now I want to cover some of the red icons on the top right. The red icons top right. There's a one down below. Yeah. Click on that. That's a messenger notification. Someone has sent you a message. So I, a few minutes ago, 12 minutes ago, I said, great. So that's a reminder that someone has responded to your messages. And you can click on me and get back to the message thread. And there it is. And I said, great, moments ago. And you can add something or, or not. Okay. okay. The next one, there's a red 20 plus uh, top right. That, the next one over, maybe, well, okay, 20 plus. Um, I guess it could be the notifications. It was the notifications. So these are people that are your friends that are posting things you might be interested in. And you can scroll down and things like that. So um, there's one that's Ron Barlow and Derek Smales posted in Bitcoin Opportunity. Yes, oh. right there. So click on that. And that'll take you to my Facebook group. Okay, and this is relative to cash effects and all these things. Um, and so Ron asked me for the email that uh, I sent Alfredo right there where your mouse is. Okay. Uh, you just scroll down so we can't read it right there, Ron Barlow. So he's asking for the email that I sent Alfredo and I will get back to Ron. So that's a good reminder on something I need to do. Okay. Now scroll down and click on the blue image below that Derek posted. This is really good. Derek does a great job. Click on that. Now look how big that appears. Isn't that great? Yeah. So Monday, it's Tuesday, really Wednesday. Good, Derek. Yeah. Thank he you. does this every day and every week. So this is a weekly reminder. On the right, he's typing in more. And do you see where it says see more? There's more information there. Ah, look at that, all the other contracts. So I made a, I have a $20,000 contract. How much did I make that week? 778. Yeah, it's a pretty darn good week, you have to say. Well, but even if you're... I Go just ahead. upgraded. Yes, you did. To a 5,000. So now I have 194.60 that will be coming. Right. So exactly. So this is a good way to, you know, learn exactly how much you've made for the day or for the week. And with certain people, uh, you can share these posts. I would share it in the group, though, because as soon as we send this out, uh, people don't understand what's going on, do they? No. Yeah, so it's really good to have a, a private, uh, maybe if they're at your home, you can pull up Facebook and show this and say, yeah, this is what we made October 12th through October 16th, 5.56%. It's really, really, really good. So Derek does a great job. I never have to uh, wonder. He always does a great job. It's very nice that he does this. And you can, you know, bring people in and invite them to the group. Now, that's a good uh, thing to have. Um, so let's uh, minimize this. There's an X in the top left. Yep, that'll close it. And let's pretend 
Let's go up to the very top and click on discussion. It's at the very top of the page, kind of on the left, discussion. You got to scroll up. You, no, 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 no. You can't see it. No one can see it. You got to scroll up the page all the way up to the top. So there it is, the blue discussion. Click on discussion. I want it to refresh. Down. Oh, I see. Right there. Yeah, right there. Okay, now at the top is the website. Facebook.com, groups. So I crypto. X this out? Uh, you know what? I want you to paste something in there in just a moment. Leave it open. Oh, okay. Go to the web address of this Facebook group. You know where the web address is. Yes. And what do you do? You click how many times? Once. Once. And it goes blue. Then you can right click or choose edit copy from the menu. Edit is right above your mouse. And choose copy. Now, let's pretend Audi is not a member of this group. So you could paste the link in the little chat in the bottom right. Yes, right down there, down lower. You have to get your mouse in the, you got to get your mouse lower, 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 lower there. Right there. Click once. You have to get your cursor in there first. Now do command V, hold down the command key and yep. Okay, now you have the link. So you could in a way invite Audie. She's already a member, but there you go. And it shows the nice picture of the Facebook group. And it says Bitcoin opportunity with Chase Swift. And Audie could join the group if she didn't know about it. Pretty cool? Yeah. You only learn these things when you come to Martha's Tips and Tricks, by the way. <laughs> Another All right. cool thing, if you want to click on the bell at the top, you've got a number two on it. Yes. If you click on there. Oh, yeah. look at that. Derek oh. commented on your post. Oh, that was, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> and then you can hit reply and you can have all sorts of fun responding. But guess what? People, uh, look at the, uh, above your, uh, above Derek, Drenda Van Wide, right there. Yeah. She she liked it, didn't she? Oh. <laughs> and yeah. so what a great way to connect with people. And she liked it, but she hadn't been in Scotland or whatever. But guess what? There could very well be. And if James were here, he's from Scotland, he lives in Scotland, he would be able to post. And that would just make your post more popular. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, more popular means more people start seeing it. They would have to scroll around, but they, they would see it. And it's, it's kind of a thing on Facebook. So you are communicating with people all over the world right now. In fact, I can go to your Facebook and say something as well. And I'll do that. So it takes me a while to navigate over there. And uh, let's see what I'll say. Um, let's say I, I need to I need to visit someday soon. <laughs> and do you see that it uh, does it show that I'm no it doesn't. Oh, and Drenda, she said something. Yeah, she just said. So have not been there. Closest country which I have set foot in is England, 1998. And then I said, I need to visit someday soon. So already you're getting some activity. <laughs> P.S. I miss seeing you, Drenda says. <laughs> right? How powerful this is. And you posted something that is friendly and entertaining and exciting and Interesting. And when you type her name, it picks up and it'll tag her. She'll get a little, you now have three notifications in the top right. 
the little number red three. Yep. So it'll say, I have posted. Yep, Drenda, Chase Swift commented. All these things are notifications of your activity. So the three on the top are the ones relative to your Scotland post. So the, does that make sense? The notifications tell you what people are doing. And then what is this just down? Yeah, click it. It hides it. Oh, I see. Yeah. So the notification bell is just a way to um, be to see all the notifications and you click it one more time, it goes away. Okay. You can also close my message uh, if you're done, which is fine. Some of these things tend to clutter up your screen and you just, you just need to clear the deck every so often. So that's awesome. Drenda's responded. We may check later in the day and people are responding and things like that. It's really exciting. Yeah, Drenda uh, lives here in Windsor. Uh -huh. Great Republican friends. Okay. Fantastic. All right, Derek, what else can we do uh, when you're on Facebook? What are some good things relative to networking, uh, building friendships, uh, posting, anything else you can think of? No, I can't at the moment, no. Yeah. So um, Facebook is really powerful. Um, you don't have to spend all day here. And in fact, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> you know, no, you but, uh, Some yeah. Thing, but <laughs> yeah, so um, let's cover what we covered today. We covered uh, Facebook Messenger. So that's your tab number one. Okay, we're still learning about tabs. So why don't you click on it because you're you're able to teach people. <clears throat> okay, so tell tell everyone what Messenger is for. Well, just connecting with people that you know, like any of these people here, or yep. chat with them, or um, what is the difference over here? It's just picking up nicknames or themes or yeah. emojis. But it, yeah, my point is it's you can send a text message, you can send a voice message, yeah. you, can, you can call them on the phone. We didn't do that, but you can uh, have a, you know, someone is in Scotland, by the way, you know, James or Derek, and you need to get a hold of them. You can set up an appointment and then you can call them for free. Mm -hmm. And so we can connect people and you could say, hey, Derek, I'm looking for people in England and Scotland to partner with me in Cash Effects. I have team members that need partners, all that good stuff. So very, very powerful. This is not hard. Chase, we can, yes, Adi. I have a question. How do you um, get the Messenger Facebook um, where I can click on that on my computer to get to get in there? Right. OK, so mom, uh, click on the F of Facebook again. Yes. So you have to get to Facebook. And then on mom's case, it's, I've seen setups where mine is about the second one under my name, like mom's name is top left. Then she has pages and friends. My, my messenger is the second one. Oh, okay. It might be the second one or, oh, look at that. Derek just posted. <laughs> and that can happen when they post something, it'll pop up, which is nice. Okay. Okay. So that's what I do. I go. On the left I, side. Uh, yep. And then on mom's case, she has to click on show more. Mm -hmm. she's, she's typing to Derek right now. Okay, that I think I've got that. Then I should be able to have that on the line up above. Yeah. Well, how do I save that? Or do I not have to save it? I just... It's, it's kind of built in. Mom, go to yeah. the left side and find messenger under see more. Down lower. Okay, well, up, up, just a little bit higher. 
There. Oh, here it is. And then scroll down. There is a way to <clears throat> program it, but I don't know. You're looking for Messenger, and there, there it is. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yep. And there's uh, Derek's latest message. So what the latest message will always be at the top. And if you can't find it, <clears throat> there's a search messenger right above Derek's name on the left. So down, that's search Facebook there, search messenger. So if you wanted to look for, I don't know, let's type John and see if there's a John that, or some other name that you chatted to. As you type in search messenger, it'll find the chat. Oh, on. On. <laughs> on. <laughs> James, you're back. <laughs> yeah. So, I found you again. <laughs> yeah. So there's John Beckett, John Kramer, and John Jens Larson. So that's how you find people that are already in Friends and that are on uh, Messenger. Cool. And they have to be a friend on Facebook for you to communicate with them. Now, James is here. Let's go back real quick to your Facebook tab. Tab number? Here? No. Tab. What did I say? Tab? Yes. Let's show... And Sarah likes your post, by the way. Let's show James your post. Scroll up. So we posted this a bit ago, James. I was okay. thinking about my time in Scotland years ago. Who is from Scotland? I was there in 1957. <laughs> so you and Martha may not be friends. So how would you find each other? Well, mom, click on your Martha. Just top right, there's a pic. Well, actually right where your mouse is, that's you, click on that. So Martha's picture is, uh, you're wearing, yeah, that shawl or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. It's pink. Yeah. And so, um, so if you search for Martha, her picture is with that pink shawl. And if, and if you go in the top left, search for Martha Maxwell, that'll find it. But let's search for James Findlay in top left of uh, Facebook. Let's connect with James Findlay. L-E-Y or L-A-Y? L-A-Y. Uh, F-I-N-D-L-A-Y, yeah. Okay. So then you can click on the second one. Now, Facebook is going to, is it the top one there? I don't no. think so. Okay. Sometimes uh, a friend might need the help or, uh, like, I thought it might pick up the Derek and James are friendly and are, are friends and it, sometimes they, uh, they put you up higher, but it looks like it may not have done it. You have to click whole, uh, see all. Uh, see all, click on see all. Right uh, down middle. Oh yeah. Uh, that's odd. I'm I, I'm kind of surprised. It's <laughs> no popular. Yeah, that is no. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Gee. <laughs> you didn't know. Got a lot of cousins in there. Hmm. Well, I don't know how to delineate that. Um, and so sometimes uh, Derek can uh, suggest James as a friend or Derek, you could uh, grab James's uh, Facebook page, his URL, and paste it in the chat.
So sometimes you just might have to help and ask a friend uh, to help. But um, and mom, don't keep scrolling. That just, you know, oh, there it is. You see it on the right? Derek posted that in Messenger. So oh, click, yeah, yeah. Click there. Mm -hmm. OK, so now <laughs> you're, you're looking at James's page. Let's close Derek's little chat with the X. There you go. And then there's add friend right there. Yes. And that'll send a notification. So James will see a notification kind of like your number two that's red in the top right. That's what James will see. Yep. And you see Sarah and, and things like that. So James will see that and he'll get to that either now or later, which is fine. But that's how you add a friend onto Facebook. Mm -hmm. And then James, once you add a friend and I'm, Derek may have to help, um, then you can visit Martha's page and see the post about Scotland and all that. So this is a way we can start to build some friends and, and start finding people that live internationally. And uh, we can literally, this is how uh, Hazel Moore uses Facebook to get her team into, you know, larger into cash effects. Chase? Yes. I noticed under James' name, I don't know how he got that typed in there, but it says, I'm looking for five people to join me who want it to is. How did that happen? How did he get that there? That's in the bio. Yeah, that's that in the not, bio. Yeah, it was an old one. Yeah. So you might even think about uh, changing that a bit, maybe. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah. Derek can help you with that. Yeah, um, well, you have to go to your own. Thanks, Danny. <laughs> yeah, you have to go to your own Facebook. And so, Mom, go straight up to yours. It says Martha at the page at the top. We'll show you. There's a lot of clicking around that you can do, but straight up to the right is your picture. Oh, I see here. Yeah, right there. That'll take you back to your page and you'll see uh, your post and all that. So uh, your bio. Edit profile. Yeah, it's right there. Edit profile. Just right there. This cover picture is from Stockholm. Oh, is it? Let's scroll down there. I bet you, yeah, the bio is coming up. It's the third item. Describe yourself. So this is where, James, you can learn to reset uh, things. So click on, what do you think you click on, Mom? Yes. That one. <laughs> or click add, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's an add to the right. Yeah, add to the right. Okay, now. So you could just say um, whatever, but let's just think of something. Um, looking for people. We may change this. Looking for international people that would like to take $300 and make a lifetime of income. We may change that, but that just right off the top of my head. And you have 41 characters remaining, so there's not a whole lot. I noticed that it could fit in in phones as well. Something we were doing. Yeah, well, that's what people in the UK, because people get upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we won't worry about the exact message right now because it's a, an art to write something of interest, and we'll, I'll work on this. Um, but we're running out of characters, aren't we? So let's just uh, cancel that. But that's how you can change your bio, which is. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh. All right. So we don't want to get too deep into the weeds here, but um, you can just click on the outside of this panel and it should go away. Yeah. I don't think I've seen that on my screen at all before. 
Mm-hmm. I did, you know, we get the wrong message in there, but uh, I didn't see how to change it. Ah, right. So um, that's really the basic on how, look at that, how nice that post is. It's a nice post, right, Mom? Yeah. It's really colorful and catches your eye as it comes up. Exactly. Now here's Derek. Yep. <laughs> and if you click on your his picture, it takes you to his Facebook page. There it is. Yeah. Hmm. Derek. Awesome. That's for changing that as well, very kind of chase. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we've learned about Messenger. We've learned about posting some simple things on Facebook that people will will type back on. We can. It, it's not going to happen instantly, but it'll happen with some persistence. And all of a sudden, you know, as mom keeps posting about Europe, people are going to go, so tell me more about your time in Europe. And then that'll lead to other things. And, and you'll say, maybe we should have a, a phone call and catch up. And then, yeah, the, then you can say, yeah, I was posting about Scotland because I'm looking for international partners, people that want to make money for a one-time outlay or investment of $300 for a lifetime of income. And they're going to go, what? And you're going to, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a lead in to have a conversation um, over, you know, the phone, or you can send them a voicemail message with Messenger. This is so powerful. Steve Sabota, yeah, you click on that. That's an instant notification. Look at that. Oh. Wow. Wonderful. Yeah, Do you know him? Um, I do. Okay. Yep. So these are, these are really mostly friends of moms that will see her post and they comment. Now, other people that are friends of Steve Sabota and uh, me and things like that. Okay. Careful. He's the top one, mom, Steve Sabota. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, and you can tag when you type their name in by as mom did. It'll recognize friends and it'll tag them and notify them that you uh, responded. Very powerful stuff, really awesome. So does everyone kind of see the, the idea that you could have simple posting and, and some conversations that will lead into the fact that you have a way to show them how to make a lifetime of income from $300. Way to go. Excellent, mom. Okay. You are such the great teacher on these tips and tricks uh, <laughs> Zoom Zoom calls. Yes. <laughs> so that is on upgrading, Martha. Yeah. Drenda is saying that she loved it too. Yeah. Loves Scotland. You could post on all sorts of things. You, you know, you've been in uh, Paris, I know. So you could, you know, you can inquire people that live in France, all that type Canada. of thing. And you can bring back memories and awesome stuff. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we didn't cover everything in Facebook, but we covered a lot, didn't we? Mm -hmm. It was good fun. I've Good never fun. known any of this because I, I don't pay any attention. That's why I didn't have a bio written or anything. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, look at Steve just responded. <laughs> That's great. Excellent. Yep. 
Whoops, I forgot the O. That's all right. You can actually see the three dots to the right on that exact line. <clears throat> you have to be on yeah. the line. Click it. You can edit it. You can, you can add that O back in. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Now I hit enter. <laughs> well, it's pretty bad, James. I was an English teacher, so I can't misspell stuff. <laughs> hit enter. <laughs> oh, hit enter. Yeah, yeah. there it is. Perfection. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> so great stuff well i i think this will help people begin to explore facebook a little bit more have some simple conversations that can lead to cash effects and you're not going to explain everything you're going to say oh we have videos for that and so open up a new tab mom and i don't know uh you have your cash effects folder in your bookmarks in the top left, it says CFX BTC, <clears throat> far left. Click that, and uh, the four best videos, halfway down, is the videos you could send someone that you have a conversation. You can say, yep, it's really a visual <laughs> thing. And then you could uh, grab that URL, the YouTube link. How many times do you click on the link? Once. Once. Mm -hmm. It goes blue and then you can go edit, copy. And then send that to Derek. So go back to messenger, tab number. One. And Derek uh, posted James Finley say, thanks Derek, watch these videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Down at the bottom is where you type mom. Down at the bottom. Oh yeah. <laughs> so oh. send. <laughs> I don't know whether I can or not. But. You're not on it. You have to be precisely on it. You're not on it. You got to click on that blue a little bit to the right. Or hit enter. I don't know. I'll do that if you want You're muted too, by the way. Um, into stove. Okay. Well, emergency session. Here I come. So the issue was she had the Zoom menu in front of the area and she couldn't do it. And so when you have the Zoom menu, you click and drag that menu around. So, uh, mom, did you paste the link? We she still didn't, yeah, we still didn't get you unmuted. Ah. It'll go away. So now, okay. you're, oh, okay. so now you need to paste in the link to Derek. I oh, thought no, I you did. did. You did. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah, she sent it. Yeah. yeah. But you you seem to let your page is frozen. Maybe it's my end or your end. I don't know. Yeah, it is frozen. So <clears throat> um, mom, stop sharing for a moment and then we'll stop it or bring it back. 
Okay. The red area. The red, red structure. And start it again, green and blue. Okay. Oops, I was muted again. So uh, mom posted the link to Derek for the YouTube videos. Very simple to do. Yep, right there. And awesome. This is really coming together, isn't it? Really good. All righty then. So we covered Messenger. We coupled, uh, covered a few things on Facebook and even got to a, a bookmark to share the YouTube videos with Derek. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the name of this game. And the rest of it is coming into Zoom and helping each other and Derek and I and whomever will help uh, everybody be successful with promoting CFX and my goodness. And seeing the, the Facebook posts in the group when Derek posted the weekly and daily returns so amazing what we can do. All right, I'm gonna um, stop the recording. And so thanks for watching the recording.